Hey, it's Candy, and welcome to another full face off. Today, oh, why I didn't do that before you guys got here? We're gonna deal with Elf. I love Elf. Um, I think their products are fantastic. I only had to buy a few things because I had most of their product line already. So, yeah, we're just gonna do like a little chatty get ready with me. Um, I have some things I want to talk to you guys about, some things I've been dealing with. Oh, great. I'm trying to get everything out of the packages. Should have done this before I turned on the camera, but you know, your girl doesn't think very well. It's Monday morning. It's right on the dot, seven o'clock. So I got about half an hour to do this. Should be plenty of time. If not, I'll just re-record this. So, just got out of the shower. I have all of my clothes on, ready to go. All I have to do is change out of this tank top and into the shirt that I'm gonna wear. Ugh, come on. Um, it's actually Thanksgiving week when I'm recording this. And I did a Thanksgiving dinner Saturday which you guys will see on probably tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Tuesday, what's the date? Tuesday the 20th. Why won't this freaking eye liner come out of the package? <sighs> Goodness gracious. Okay, everything else is out of a package. Cool, yeah, all right. So I've already moisturized my skin. I'm actually gonna, let me move you guys in a little bit. Okay, I've already moisturized after I got out of the shower. So I'm just gonna go straight in with some BB cream. Now this is the e.l.f. BB cream in broad spectrum SPF 20. I have the color doesn't say huh that's weird that it's a, oh nude it was right there what if you lose the lid oh that's very orange let's see how this goes all right let's <laughs> Why did I think this was a good color for me? I'm using my Juno and Co sponge. Just got a new one out of the package, so I thought I'd use it. Even though I really don't care for using this with foundation. girl needs to shave. I hate this color already, you guys. This is not my shade. So I'm gonna attempt to wipe most of this away and just leave a super light coverage. Because Yikes. Like, my whole sponge is orange. Alright, well, I sort of look tan, I guess. This is starting out great. Well, the reason I wanted to talk to you guys is because I'm having, like, today is a very stressful day. Uh, we're going to go in with concealer in fair, but I'm... Okay, I just took this out of the box, right? HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. Can you guys see the dark spots in it? What the hell is that? Like, is this vanilla bean concealer? No, 
No, I think it's just, it's settled. And for some reason, because I, I took the wick, the wand out, and I stirred it a little bit, you can see where the wand can fit, they went away. And I don't see any on the applicator. So we'll continue there. Um, so today I have to go to the gynecologist. And the reason is because last year when they did my pap smear, they found some abnormal cells. And they didn't really think anything of it because they also found that I had HPV. Not HIV, HPV. Um, which is a very common thing in women my age because there was no vaccine for it when I was a kid. And so you have to have a pap smear like once a year. And when I went in this year for my pap smear, they found some abnormal cells again. So what they want to do is go in and take some clippings, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, basically, they want to scrape my cervix and make sure that these cells that they found are not cancerous cells. Okay, so you're supposed to peel off this sticker. Okay, that's my new ringtone for, oh, for Facebook Messenger. <laughs> it just says, hello, and I think it's adorable. Cindy Lulu, I will get to your message here in a few. <laughs> okay, so you pour the powder into the lid, and then we're going to get a powder brush. Um, but so they want to check and make sure that the cells are not cancerous cells, but it makes me super nervous. So this is their HD perfecting powder, I think they call it. I'll look in just a second, because the name is on the lid, I think. So yeah, I'm a little nervous about that. That happens at 3.30, so I have to make it through pretty much a full day of work. It doesn't say. Let me grab the box, I guess. Just HD powder in soft luminance. So that went on fairly well. I'm still like, you on the wrong color right now. I think I'm gonna go in and do my face first, and then we'll do my eyes. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm nervous about it. So I have this contouring palette in a light medium. I love this palette. It has these four shades in it, which are super nice. I usually use this lighter brown shade for a little bit of contour, bronzing. I've been kind of studying <laughs> how to contour a fat face and it's very inconsistent across the videos that I've watched so I just kind of look at my face and see like okay well I would like my cheeks here to kind of stand out so I put the bronzer here or the contour here so that it makes my cheeks pop a little more does that make sense I hope it does. So that's how I do want to put some on my forehead. It's another thing I've been noticing. Um, I'm losing a lot of hair and my hairline keeps going back and back. So I'm wondering what that's about. It's kind of frightening. 
So I'm going to leave this out because it has my highlighter in it. Um, do my blush real quick. This is the e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. I've had this for quite a while. I like it a lot. I've been missing it because what I did for this full face series is I put everything in these quart size bags for each company so that I could keep it all together. Well, I had like 10 of them put to the side so that I could just do them when like I had time to do, you know, makeup. And <laughs> this one's been over there and been like, I really want that contour palette or I really want that blush. But I didn't want to take it out and then like forget about it. Oh, I wanted to do highlight. Ma -ma. So yeah, I'm uh, nervous about that. I'm going to use this here for highlight. Um, so that's happening today after work. And I'm sure by the time I get this video out, I should have the results back. So I will definitely let you guys know. Um, because I don't plan on putting this out until next Monday. So let's go in with a brow. This is their brow pencil. I'm gonna do some like hair leg strokes here and then fill in. So I went and had a microblading consultation and I don't know. I'm I'm nervous about it. Uh, it's gonna cost me three hundred dollars. So she did um, kind of map out my brows and kind of show me what she would like to do. Show me a bunch of pictures. So I'm I'm excited, but I'm nervous. And she's like, "Yeah, we definitely need to bring it in." And she showed me, like, a client that had similar brows than I did. And so, that made me feel better. Um, the problem with mine are, is they're, they're not even. Like, one of them is higher than the other, and I have a really hard time getting them even. See, so, like, this one has much more of an arch than this one and they start at different places and so it's just I have a hard time with them and you guys know that but we're gonna go with this today do a very take a very light hand with it and I think it'll be all right Okay, that's where we're going to leave them. They're not great, I know. Okay, so we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. I love it. It has so many different colors in it. Um, I'm going to go for a fall look, so I'm going to stay on this end of the spectrum. That's going to throw some of you guys for a loop. Alright, I'm going to take this brush and go in with this light color here. Was that a fallout or just me? I don't know now. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be on my eyes. But it's nice. It's a really pretty color. So I'm taking this above my crease. It's a nice deep dark brown. I like that. But like, see it on my eye, it's even in the pan. Is my skin weird? Like, is my are my eyes weird? Because the last two eyeshadow palettes that I have reviewed or like 
checked out. I can't say a review an eyeshadow palette like <sighs> lots of you point out not lots of you but like I have a lot of comments that are like you don't know how to do makeup why are you reviewing makeup well I like makeup and I know there are a lot of people that have the same skill set as I do so that's why because I like it and I don't care eyes are so different I always feel like this eye it does super well and then this one always looks like poo just like absolute poo all right well that's what we're doing because obviously things aren't going well all right <clears throat> so we talked about that we talked about my gynecological appointment which is today um and i've also been in this like super uninspired and unmotivated mood if you guys can see behind me that stack there that over there is my laundry that I haven't folded yet but that stack behind me is all video stuff like stuff that I have like content for have like the products for that I just haven't been able to mentally do I don't, I don't know what's going on I gotta blend this out some more I'm just, I'm having this mental block where I don't or I can't make myself do videos. Um, and it, it's, it's frustrating because I have stuff to do. And then I'm, I'm a little stressed about Vlogmas too, but like not too terribly bad. All right, I'm going to go in with this orange shade and pat it onto my lid. So I've just been like, I don't know, in this very unmotivated, uninspired place. And I know it has to do with like some personal stuff that's going on. Like obviously I'm worried about this gynecological thing. And... You know, there's some stuff going on with Roger that's upsetting. And I just, I want to like, I want to be happy. I'm tired of being stressed out and upset all the time. But my depression is, is like kicking my ass right now. And I wish I could break it. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I could stop it from happening, but I can't. And so I'm just trying to deal with it and like get things done as much as I can. <sighs> 719. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just I don't know. I hope you guys can understand. I'm doing my best, but even like last night I opened up my editing software and I edited the boxy charm that you guys will see today and even doing that like it took me like 45 minutes to an hour to edit it it was torture like I just like I don't know I can't stay concentrated and my brain is just like no get away from that editing software that that's not what I want to do And it's very frustrating for me because <clears throat> you guys know I like to stick to a schedule and I like to I like to put content out but right now I'm just blocked mentally blocked I don't know this is a cute look I guess I'm still like upset with the brown not being equal so <sighs> This is actually an elf brush. 
But I'm going to go in with this darker brown and try to deepen it up a little bit. So yeah, I just... Please know that I'm not falling off of YouTube, but I'm having a rough time. And I know that most of you can relate. But there'll be some people that are like, you're just lazy. <sighs> okay, maybe, yeah, my, I'm being lazy. There we go, I'm being lazy. Like, oh my gosh. It's insane. And I, you know, I talk about all the time that I don't let the negative comments get to me, but they do. I can't lie, like, they do. I try not to let them get to me, but like, I don't know. When someone assaults your character, it's really frustrating. Um, especially when people claim that I'm like doing things for views or I'm friends with certain people so that they're not mean to me. What? Like that doesn't even make sense. I'm not that type of person to just be like, hey, let's be friends so you're not mean to me. Like, no. I talk to people who I want to talk to, like, that I think are genuinely nice people most of the time. And I, like, I get nervous. The reason why I don't put a lot of my friends or, like, my family in my videos is because I can't stand seeing negative things written about them. I can't. Alright, so this is the felt tip liner from e.l.f. This is like a dollar fifty. Super cheap. E.l.f. is very affordable. Like I just put out that video with my sister <clears throat> for Reb Dolls and the negative comments about my sister are like, they kill me. Well, if there is any, like, I, the comments that have been negative have been like, your sister doesn't like any of those clothes, why are you doing this? Well, she would tell me if she didn't like them, believe me, she would tell me. She's trying to step out of her comfort zone and wear more, like, sexier clothing, and I appreciate that about her and I want to help her do that. You know, my, my sister is a mom of three. Her kids are her everything. And so if she has the chance to wear a really form-fitting, beautiful dress and feel great in it, I want to do that for her. I want to give her the opportunity to have that. My sister is an amazing human. And I told someone in the comments that, like, she's body goals for me, but she's also, like, life goals. Because she is an incredible mom. And she does everything for my nephews. Every time we're out shopping, she, like, not look at stuff for herself, but she'll always find something for the boys. And I love that about her because I'm the same way most of the time, but... That seems really big. Hold on. There's what I want. And so, when people say negative things about her, they don't know her. You guys see her try on clothes. That's all you know about my sister. So, like, when people say negative things about her, I'm just like mama bear mode. I want to beat someone, you know? I'm going to take this dark brown shadow and make that my liner smoke out the bottom lash line I don't know if that's such a good idea um this looks like I have dark circles under my eyes which is true so yeah um I don't know if that's like getting to me or if I'm just I honestly think it's the change of season here and it's not that I don't like fall and winter because I do I really 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 do like, I, I love the cracking of leaves and the Christmas season, but I think that the, the sudden change in the weather and 
coming off the high of such an incredible trip to California is getting to me a little bit and I'm having a hard time pulling myself out of it. And what I need to do is I need to call my life coach and get my shit together. So, Josh, I'm working on that. I don't know, like, what my blockage is. And this is the e.l.f. mascara, again, like, $2. This is in black. I actually love this applicator. It's super easy for the lower lash line. Because I always feel like the lower lash line, I always get mascara all over my face because the wands are so big. And so I like this kind of smaller one. It's funny because um, my life coach's wife follows me on Twitter and I said something the other day and she was like, I know a life coach. I was like, I know. I've been meaning to call him. And she thought I was being like kind of bitchy about it. She was like, I didn't mean to, you know, push. I was like, no, no, no. I totally, I need to call him. I, I need to text him and make an appointment. There we go. Okay, so I did lower lash line on both, but you can see this mascara is nice. It's a very subtle mascara, and I mean, like, I've had some shitty mascaras that cost me a lot more than $2. That Wander Beauty mascara was super dry. That was disappointing. All right, there's the eyes done. Um, I'm going to change out my e.l.f. lipstick, though. This is a little too bright for the look that I have going on, and I know I have two other ones. All right, so this is the collaboration with Christian Siriano, who is a fashion designer who I absolutely freaking love. And then that is the color Fuchsia. And then I have Tea Rose and Wine Tour. I think I'm going to go with Tea Rose for today. This eye look is growing on me. It's a very nice fall look. So here's what their applicator looks like. This is an okay color. Not perfect. It's a very smooth formula though. It feels like butter on the lips. Alright. <clears throat> so my plan going forward to get my boote in gear is I just am going to come home after work, schedule myself again like Josh, you know, taught me the first time, and get my shit done. Um, just get myself together. All right, what do we think? It's not a super flashy look, but I think it's a gorgeous fall look. Um, it really came together. That Mad for Mats eyeshadow palette will be a really good companion to a lot of other palettes because these colors are great. And my... Oh, it's Mad for Match Jewel Pop. Sorry. Uh, see? It's time to leave. It's good timing. Um, my experience with e.l.f. shadows has been good so far. I like their lipsticks. They stay on most of the day. I love this mascara. The brow pencil was fine. And the eyeliner pencil was fine. Like I said, these were like a buck fifty, two dollars Totally worth it. 
Um, their brushes are great as well. I got those at the dollar store. Fantastic. Uh, their blush is great. The powder was great. This is not my color. Oh, why I thought this was my color. The BB cream feels nice on the skin. Make sure you get the right color. I th Their color selection is not great. Um, the concealer was fine, too. I'm going to try it without this <laughs> foundation. Um, or BB cream, whatever. And I love this contour palette. It's so good. So, there we are. Full face of e.l.f. <clears throat> I have to go to work now. All I gotta do is change out of my shirt and head out the door. Slip my shoes on. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye!